So last time on Generation Gap, we compared pickup trucks. Pickup trucks meaning cars with beds. They are cars with beds. Or and dudes. my car <laughs> with a bed whooped on yours. So the El Camino wins. The El Camino, I, I'll, yeah, all right, fine. Yeah. But we've got another day ahead of us. Okay. Meet David. When given the choice, he almost always prefers the older car. This is Matt. He believes cars don't have to be old to be great. Each episode, we give them a category, they pick their favorites, and you decide who's right. So today, we've brought some family cruisers, and I may have brought the best option from a modern family cruiser ever. But I have ever. the cruiser. You have a cruiser. Oh no, really, I have the cruiser. Let's... And you're missing two doors from a family standpoint. Yeah, but I got all four seats. Okay. Let's look at the specs. The 2012 Ferrari FF. This part-time all-wheel drive system is powered by a direct injection 6.3 liter V12 that blasts out 651 horsepower and has 504 foot-pounds of torque. With a top speed of 208 miles per hour, this FF is able to go from zero to 62 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. The 1970 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. This Vista Cruiser is equipped with an Edelbrock Lingenfelter Edition E4 supercharged LS3 with 650 horsepower at the flywheel and a six-speed Tremec transmission. It features a RideTech, air ride suspension, and Willwood disc brakes. You are gonna be impressed on A, how this thing drives, B, how much power it has, and most importantly, in the classic world, how much attention it grabs. I think of any Vista Cruiser you could have chosen, I will probably enjoy this one the most. I think you cannot in any way argue with the FF. I would have never imagined you picking a Ferrari for a family cruiser. When this Ferrari was announced, when they said we're making an FF, it's gonna be a shooting brake, which I love, mm -hmm. just because it's weird, and I, I guess I just love weird things. It is weird. All wheel drive, weird. Yeah. Four seater, pretty weird. For a Ferrari, yeah. For a Ferrari. Um, and, and I think that's just a suggestion, because I looked at the leg room. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's oh two adults and some small children. Of all the cars that could have been picked for a family cruiser, I think you're gonna dig the crap out of this Ferrari. Well, I'll say this, I've never driven a Ferrari, so it will be the first time for me, and it will be by far the best Ferrari I've ever driven. <laughs> I should hope so. I guess so. I will win that. Let's go take these things for a little shakedown. How's that sound? <laughs> shakedown? I don't think you're gonna get any shake out of this. Oh, I bet you we can find I some shake. I might get some shake in that. <laughs> All right. All right, well, let's go. And, and we're off. Hey. I like the sound of the 12. I like the sound of the 12. I feel more like I'm in a, an old car, except for just a couple of little things, like the airbag controller. The airbag controller? Okay. That thinks, oh, maybe it's new. Oh. How about so that? That's some grunt. I can feel it. Love that. That's some grunt. Well, I'm going to say this. Right off the bat, I'm impressed of, from a driving standpoint, vision is phenomenal on this thing. Yep. Um, the mirrors are huge. For a Ferrari, yes. They're, yeah. They're very large. Now, the mirrors are not quite as large as what they were on the FF. But... No, they're tiny, teeny, tiny mirrors. And I'll say that one on the side is doing me no favors. Now, because it's pointed down. Yeah, where's the... Yours is remote, this one ain't. Here, let me get that for you. It's remote over here with my arm. Oh. Voila. It's a passenger adjuster. Is that better? So I'm looking that way too far. Bring it in, other way. That way? Other way. The other that way? Yeah. The way where I can see the back. Oh, okay. Is that better? It's better. A little bit more in towards More me. in? Yeah. All right. <laughs> How about that? That's, that's okay. I'll take that home. You can feel it kick down. There's a little rev matching there for you too, doesn't it? Uh-huh. That's fun. noise bouncing off of that car, does it? did. <laughs> yeah. 
God, that sounds good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that little... <laughs> that sounds really good. Between gears. I like that. Oh, man. This feels great, though. I mean, really. This, uh... Feels like it knows where it's going. mechanism. Yeah, it feels good. It's very sure-footed. I was concerned I was going to go from second to fifth. Yeah. I, I'm finding out why these, um... You know, the flappy pedals, why they have some length to them? Just because they don't turn with the wheel? Yeah, they don't turn with the wheel, which makes sense. Yeah. So, it's a car like this that gives definition to the loud pedal. Right. So, there it is. That's a loud pedal. Yep. That one right there. Did I also <laughs> mention... This <laughs> might be obnoxious. <laughs> This might have crossed that line into bordering, obnoxious. Bordering on obnoxious? Yeah, maybe a uh, little. I don't think so. As much as I like potato, 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 <laughs> I do like that. Wah, wah. A little scream. Yeah. It's my favorite old car yet. And it's a wagon. Because it's mostly not old. This is fun. You forget how much fun things can be, right? All right, I, I want to hear, I need to hear your impression after driving the Vista. I begrudgingly admit that that was the most fun I've ever had in a wagon, period. Kids would be happy to be picked up in either of these choices. Yes, they would be. I think yes. for the first time, we're both happy with everything that's happened yep. here today. And and to get back to that, with the kids in the car, mm -hmm. you know, at least my kids, they'd be in the back seat going, spin the tires, Dad, spin the tires, make a lot of noise. And I'd be like, well, I can't spin the tires, but we can go really fast, quickly, make a lot because of it's noise. hooking up, and it makes a lot of noise. And there's something just sweet and special about the rev matching when you're downshifting <laughs> yeah. with the paddle flippers. Yes. In the Ferrari. Yes. Let's just go count them down. No, count down the points. All right. Performance. Performance. Yep. <laughs> Point. Each. Yep. Okay. We each have high performance vehicles. Oddly enough, without even trying, we both showed up with 650 horse cars Ex that are exactly. incredibly similar in weight. You're heavier. The slight. Well, the Ferrari. I'm and let me stock heavier. I will notice <laughs> that qualify. you have enormous brakes. You have a different yes. engine. Yes. You have bigger exhaust. Yes. And much bigger wheels. That's correct. So I'm willing to bet that they are ridiculously However, close to the same. Actually, way. I bet you the the wheels as a package are lighter than what the stock ones would have been. The brakes are being steel, but the brakes are not. <laughs> well, I think we're still at the same spot. We're Point. They both perform. We split the points. Check. Got it. <laughs> All, All right. right. From a collectability standpoint, point off a Ferrari that has not gone up in value. Even the ugly ones have gone up. The hideous Ferraris have gone yes. up in value. Even the bottom end, yes. That's they a correct statement. They have yet to make a car that isn't collectible in some fashion. I agree. All right. I agree. So I'll agree it's collectible. I'll, I'll just, and it's certainly unique. One point I'll just give myself. I'm happy okay. with that. I'll give you, I'll let you have the All point. Right. But I'm taking the other point. I could see that. Because any station wagon pre-1974 is they're all coming up in value they're doing the same thing that the pickup trucks are doing right now yes they are so i get a point too so we'll splitting. split those two okay i think there is a spot where i'm going to take all the points here i'm afraid you're probably right because i do remember what the categories are yes that we're counting down here so what's that next category that would be ease of ownership there we go that's the one i was looking for this wagon by far is easier to own than that Ferrari is going to be without a wallet that's that thick. I will say that from a strictly monetary standpoint, you could maintain four of those wagons <laughs> before approaching the cost to maintain the Ferrari. I can also buy 10 of these wagons for the cost of that Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. That is true right. as well. Two for me. I'll just, yeah. Okay. So from a look standpoint. Look standpoint? This Ferrari looks like nothing else. I'd give it that. It, but it still has that Ferrari Italian feel. 
It does. To it does. seeing it on the street. It's obviously not a German car. Right. It's obviously not American made. It's oh. very obviously Italian. Yes. But I will also argue that more people would be excited to see a Ferrari in general. I think you're confusing looks and status opposed to just looks. So to keep the separated from a look standpoint, this car will grab more looks than that. And I, I disagree. I think they're both good looking cars parked on the street with nobody around. Both of these cars are gonna have pictures taken of them. All right, that looks fine. You don't get any that more looks, specific than a picture. It looks fine. Passion. I don't think either of us can argue that one is better than the other. Split? All right. That still puts me up. I'm fine well, with that. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't argue with it. It's a different type of passion. So I tell you but what. But they're both going to be let's, at it. Let's see how the vote works out on this one. I think we'll have to. Okay. Family cruisers, we're on to side on which one we like. Although I'm going to lean a little more towards the Vista, but that's okay. I've decided I like them both. I, I like that idea. There's a decision a made. Idea. Okay, so we like yes. them both. However, what we need is for you and your family to vote. Vote many times for your favorite one. Just once. Show Just us, once per person. Show us what you like. 